Okay, so the first stage in uh, Mega Man X should always be Chill Penguin here. Um, and that's simply for the dash one. Uh, as I mentioned in the other video, uh, or in the first video, uh, dash is sort of included in the first games, and like air dash is what you get out of their boots. Uh, and so you can go through this stuff. Yeah, these uh, wooden, well, wooden, whatever the things that the axe guy chops here, and blast and they come back. Yep. And then they'll also get a match if you don't get fast enough. Ooh, speaking of not fast enough. So yeah, there's uh, two armor upgrades that you absolutely have to get in this game. Uh, there's no skipping them. And that's uh, the dash and uh, the buster upgrade. Uh, once you get the buster upgrade, uh, you're forced to get that uh, at sort of the end. Alright, so yeah, here we have the first Dr. Light capsule. You know, considering that there are like eight of these games and at least four armor pods for every game, like Dr. Light must have either spent the rest of his life just putting these things all around in places that bosses happen to show up in the future, or I, I think there might be somebody else placing them for X25. It would be a great plot device if Capcom give a shit. They obviously don't. Um, they've not made Mega Man games since the PlayStation 2. Seeing as how we're fixing it in the PlayStation 5, I don't think we're going to be seeing one anytime soon. Yeah. So, if you're wondering why they haven't been making the guy who created, uh, well, didn't really create, he was in charge of a lot of the boss design. Uh, sort of as the head producer for the main games. Uh, got into a bit of trouble. Uh, he went to a games conference in Japan and uh, was sort of uh, talking about how the Emperor had no clothes. How. Get my ride? Oh, that's right, I'm. Getting trophies. Wonderful. Uh, so, yeah. Um, he sort of uh, was telling everybody that the Japanese gaming industry needed to innovate or it was going to be left behind. And, uh, Capcom did not like him uh, speaking ill of the products of Japan. So they just Alright, so, uh, one of the big boss strategies for a lot of the bosses is to uh, dash over them and head to the opposite opposite wall, and then just kind of hang on the wall. There's a lot of that here. So, yeah, those, uh, uh yeah, you have to blast those uh, ice sculptures a couple of times before they disappear or have them dash through them. Yeah, and be careful uh, when you release the charge shot because uh, you can have the uh, regular shot that you shoot after it the charge again and actually cancel out the charge shot when it travels faster. 
And so that's the other thing I'm doing, uh, dashing off the wall with the dash button and the jump button. Now we've got our first weapon here. Uh, so uh, I used Buster on the first couple of bosses uh, in uh, a couple of these Mega Man X games because, uh, yeah, the armor upgrades that you get in some of these stages are better if you get them uh, regardless of what you use on the boss. But uh, as typical for a Mega Man game, uh, you know, one boss's weapon will work. Uh, very effectively on another boss. So yeah, the ice weapon is good on Spark Mandrel, but uh, I don't hit Spark Mandrel until a bunch later. 